Learn how to configure the functions that evaluate air leakage and pressure demand in the Positioner CMSH. In our setup, the Positioner is connected to a computer via a heart modem. On the computer, an FDT framework application is installed and the device description of the CMSH has already been loaded. When the connection is established, you can navigate through the menu via diagnostics to the section concerning air leakage detection. The function air leakage evaluates the pressure signals at the actuator ports when the actuator displacement has been constant for several seconds. Secondly, no position change is requested. This means that pressure in the actuator chambers should be kept stable. The observed changes in actuator pressures can then be used to infer the extent of pneumatic leakage. In the results section, the time since the last evaluation is displayed at the top. When the actuator is moving, no evaluation can be made. Below this, the results of the last evaluation are displayed. Here, if applicable, the type of leakage detected pressure drop, pressure rise or, for double acting actuators, pressure equalization between the actuator chambers. Furthermore, the pressure change rates that were last observed decreasing pressures lead to negative values here. The general conditions of the last evaluation are displayed on the right. The position or actuator displacement where the evaluation took place. As well as the pressure levels at the two ports values associated with port 4 are available only for double acting actuators. In the monitoring area, it is possible to select that specific messages related to air leakage detection shall be generated for elevated pressure change rates. Here you can also select the NAMA status associated with a message on detected leakage. The threshold that the absolute value of an observed pressure change rate has to exceed for a message to be generated can be selected here. Changes to the settings are immediately active and saved in the device. The function pressure demand monitors actuator pressures with regard to breakaway behavior. The evaluation is started whenever a new movement is requested by a set point change after a period of constant position. Breakaway pressure difference is determined when the position has changed by more than the amount specified by minimum position change in the expected direction. In case of an abrupt start of movement, for example, an evaluation is not always possible and breakaway pressure calculation is aborted. In the results area, the time since the last breakaway pressure evaluation is again displayed at the top. Below this, the results of the last successful evaluation are shown. Breakaway pressure difference. Supply pressure at the time of evaluation. And the pressure demand ratio that shows how much of the total available pressure difference had to be applied to start this movement. 100% would mean that the breakaway pressure difference equals the difference between supply pressure and ambient pressure. The pressure demand ratio is calculated in slightly different ways depending on the actuator type and direction of movement. Details can be found in the DTM documentation of the CMSH. Further to the right, further information concerning conditions of the last evaluation are displayed, in this case, actuator position, current and previous direction of motion. And standstill time before breakaway. In the monitoring area, generation of messages associated with elevated breakaway pressure demand can be activated. The limit to be set refers to the pressure demand ratio.
So much for the functions air leakage and pressure demand in the position of CMSH 1.1.